Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the pressure switch hose on your washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will be working near some electrical circuits, so the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect the power. So we'll pull the washer far enough forward that we can access the plug, we'll unplug it. We'll also need enough room that we can remove the back panel. Now that we have access to the back of the washer, our next step will be to remove this back panel from the console. There are three screws across the top and three quarter inch hex head screws across the bottom. So we'll just remove those Phillips screws from the top. We can lift up on that panel to clear those plastic tabs on the side and we can lift that away. Now with that back panel removed, we'll take note of the pressure switch on this side. So we're going to remove that clamp. Just depress it, slide it down onto the tubing. We'll pull that tubing off of the pressure switch. We'll remove the clamp. We can push that tubing down through that opening. Now we'll take the new tubing and just push it down through that opening. We'll slide the clamp onto it. We'll next push that tubing completely onto the pressure switch. And we'll slide that clamp up onto the nozzle on the side of that pressure switch. And then we can go ahead and put that back panel back on. So we'll take our panel, make sure that the top edge sits underneath the control panel. Line up the tabs on either side and let it drop down and hold itself in place. We'll install the screws across the bottom. And then the three across the top. And once we have that top secure, we'll then need to raise that whole main top up. So we'll either need to have somebody to support that or push it close to a wall so that you can lean it up against the wall while we do the rest of the repair. Now next, we'll take a thin putty knife and we'll go into this gap between the main top and the front panel. We need about four or five inches from either edge, you'll encounter a spring clip. So we'll slide that putty knife onto the spring clip, depress it, and at the same time we'll lift up on that main top. We'll just hold one side up while we do the opposite side. Then we can lift that top up. And again, you'll either want to have somebody to support that for you. And if you don't have anybody to help you, we'll take a, a lanyard and we'll tie the top of that front panel to the cabinet to hold it in place. Well, next, we'll locate that pressure switch tubing. We'll go to that side of the tub where we can attach it to the air dome at the side of the tub. Now with the top lifted up, we'll push that tub to the right. Remember where that pressure switch tubing attaches to the air dome on the side of the tub. Again, there's a small clamp. We're just gonna depress that clamp and slide it up onto the tubing. Pull the tubing off of the air dome. We'll remove that clamp. We'll just set that aside for a moment. And we can pull that tubing away from the restraint on the back of the cabinet here and discard the old tubing. And we'll take the new tubing, we're gonna slide it down through this oval opening in the rear corner of the cabinet. We'll also tuck it through that restraint on the back of the cabinet. We'll then slide that clamp onto it. And then we'll firmly insert that tubing onto the nipple on the side of that air dome. And slide that clamp 
down into position. And if you have difficulty doing that with your fingers, you can use a pair of pliers. Just make sure we have no kinks in that tubing. And now we're ready to lower the main top. So next we'll remove our lanyard. And then we'll lower that main top. What we want to do is to line up these two holes in the front edge of that top with these two locating pins. And snap it down into place and then we're ready to push the washer back into position. We're now ready to reconnect the power, push the washer back into place and your repair is complete.